Have you ever been scammed in the music industry? No, but I've been scammed before uh, when I was, so um, I have live wire um, clothing stores. I still, um, I have one store now, but I had three. I closed two of them down just cause I just didn't feel like having three stores. But anyway, um, when I, um, when I opened one of them, I can't remember which one it was, but I opened one of them motherfuckers and uh, the motherfuckers scammed me on the Google shit. You know how you, uh, you know how they call you, be calling you, you want your shit on the woo woo woo, and yep, and the motherfucker just straight scammed me. It was only like $50 or something, you feel me? It wasn't that much money, but the nigga was like, give me, just pay $50. And I can have you when you when they type in your it'll pop up on Google and Maps and woody 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 whoop that all that shit yeah man I get that nigga that fifty dollars type that shit in man ain't nothing pop up. <laughs> Were you able to ever get your money back? No, I don't know. Now, when it comes to the Live Wire store, for those in the audience that are interested, care to share the location of it? Oh, it's uh, 1501 Coffee Road, man. It's in uh, Modesto, California. And you can order online at uh, livewireclothingstore.com. And the shirt you're wearing is from Livewire as well. Oh, yeah, you already know, man, because uh, we ghetto babies, man. You know, we was raised on food stamps. Now, a shirt like this, is this something that you personally have a hand in designing, or you have designers and you kind of approve? No, what? yeah, I designed this. I, uh... I, like I hit my just like I hit my designer and be like, hey, I wanna um, can you can you um like make me a shirt with like a food stamp on it. I told him to make me a shirt with a food stamp, and he sent me this, and I'm like, that's it. 